Now it's time for the day's business news. We're going to start today in China, in fact. Stimulus measures uh, taken by the government there to shore up a slowing economy. They seem to be having the desired effect. Brian Quinn, our business editor, is with us with more, Brian. Hello, sir. That's right. The latest data out of Beijing shows Chinese growth holding steady in the first three months of 2019. That level, the lowest in a decade, but still beating expectations as the country's economy has slowed over recent quarters. Well, China's overall economic output grew at 6.4% for January through March, with industrial output for March at 8.5% over the previous year and retail growth at 8.7%. Well, Beijing has authorized a huge bump in local government bonds to jumpstart infrastructure projects, along with loosening liquidity requirements for major banks and cutting taxes on companies. Experts, though, are now worried the stimulus effort there may counteract previous efforts to reduce the country's drive to control debt. Well, for more on the story, we can cross to France 24 correspondent Charles Pellegrin, who joins us live from Beijing. Hello, Charles. It looks like the uh, Chinese economy is now stabilizing. Are the fundamentals improving, or is it just an effect of this massive stimulus? Well, absolutely. We're seeing uh, the same pace of growth uh, this quarter, the first quarter of 2019 and the last quarter of 2018. So that shows definitely that the Chinese economy is stabilizing. It's important to note that there is a general skepticism about Chinese economic data, but the number of key indicators here that show that uh, the Chinese economy is doing better, uh, namely a rise in consumer confidence, as well as a rise in industrial output, which has been in a slump for several months, as well as a rise rise in Chinese exports. Uh, now, uh, the real question is, is this really uh, the result of a, a, a Chinese economy that's doing better or the result of a massive uh, uh, stimulus policy from Beijing injecting hundreds of billions of dollars into the economy and uh, asking state-owned banks to make more loans? Uh, and that's uh, really uh, the most uh, important question here, uh, mostly because the worry is that uh, for so long, China has fueled its growth with high levels of date and has been able to get away with it because of its astronomical levels of growth. But um, recently, it seems that uh, China's growth levels have sort of hit a plateau, and we're wondering if these uh, debt levels are now uh, sustainable. Indeed. Well, Charles, those official numbers from the government come just one day after the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development published their survey of the Chinese economy. What was their assessment there, and what recommendations did they have? Well, uh, their main conclusions about the Chinese economy is that the, the economy, uh, Chinese economy is moderating. It's shifting away from an uh, industry-driven, uh, industry export-driven economy towards a consumer-driven, service-based economy. And as uh, there's a host of recommendations that the OECD made, uh, including things like a more equitable distribution of wealth, uh, but uh, and generally um, recommendations to sort of liberalize the Chinese economy. But one in, 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 uh, sort of interesting one was uh, to be aware of debt levels, especially when it comes to local governments, which uh, so far are not taken into account in, uh, in debt quotas. So I, I spoke to the uh, Deputy Secretary General of the, of the OECD uh, on Tuesday here in Beijing and asked him how to balance this, uh, uh, these stimulus policies on one hand and debt levels on the other, and if that, whether or not that was possible. And he said that it is possible if it's done right. Uh, take a listen. It has been a slowdown. The Chinese government has responded. Uh, the key is that um, the, the, the stimulus is not undermining the soundness of public finances. The numbers, the plans uh, are consistent with the continuation of uh, reasonably sound public finances. Now, I think the key is that the quality of uh, the policies and of the measures uh, is, is good, that it contributes to prioritizing expenditure in the right direction where the future challenges of the economy lie. Well, Charles, thanks so much for that. That's Charles Pellegrin. He's our Beijing correspondent for France 24. Uh, Asian Index is reacting to that data with a bit of skepticism, perhaps, on one hand about the reliability of official data from Beijing, but also about the potential for future growth rates 
The Nikkei in Tokyo ending the day up around a quarter percent as shares in industrial robotics giant Fanuc gain there. Chinese indexes overall are up 30 percent for the year. The Hong, uh, Hang Seng in Hong Kong up just under a tenth of a percent. The Shanghai Composite up around a third of a percent. Kospi in Seoul down just slightly ahead of the closing bell there. Well, finally for business, Apple and Qualcomm have put an abrupt end to a long and bitter legal battle. Qualcomm, which makes chips for mobile devices, had accused Apple of not paying for its patented technology. Apple, in turn, accused Qualcomm of abusing its market dominance to charge unreasonably high fees. The surprise settlement includes an unspecified payment from Apple, as well as an agreement that it will buy Qualcomm chips for future iPhones. And that was a major, major legal battle between two electronics giants there, Stuart. Just suddenly, poof, it's resolved. Essentially, they need each other. Is, is the, That's the answer. Yeah. That's the reason. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much, Brian Crim with the business news here on France 24. Thanks.